Today, we're comparing all of ESET's antivirus products and trying to find an answer to the question, do you even need antivirus? When shopping for an antivirus solution, you'll no doubt be presented with plenty of options. And when you do finally settle on a brand that you want to go with, you'll be presented with even more options. Reining in at a bargain price of... <laughs> So we're gonna get through all of the marketing mumbo jumbo of ESET's home security product line and what each one has to offer and which one, if any, is the right one for you. So if you follow the link in description here, you're gonna see all of the home security lineup from ESET, which starts with Essential, Premium, and Ultimate. But there's actually four. Before Essential, there's Nod32. This is the original basic antivirus released by ESET that kind of put them on the map. And it's still available, even though it's not on the main marketing page here. But I'll link both of these in the description. And Nod32 antivirus is the one that we're gonna look at first. Starting with Nod32 antivirus, we have the same sleek, clean interface that all the ESET products have, but a lot less is going on here. We just have three panels here, not a whole lot of features. And under setup, we just have two sections, computer protection and internet protection. Under computer protection, we have a lot less here also. We have the real-time file system protection, which while that sounds really good, everybody has that. But there's two features here that are not on, let's say, Windows Defender, such as device control and HIPS or host intrusion prevention system. What device control does is it stops USB flash drives, for example, from executing on the system right away without being checked by ESET. This is particularly useful if somebody is lending you a USB drive and it's infected, or you bought a USB drive from, say, Wish, and it happened to have malicious firmware on it. This is to protect you from malicious USB devices. What HIPS is, is it's behavior-based detection. It's scanning the background processes of what's going on in the machine and uses some machine learning to identify threats that are maybe trying to talk on the internet and try to identify intrusions on your system. I wasn't aware that HIPS was on Nod32. I knew it was on their higher products. So that's a nice thing to see. But as far as this being significantly better than Defender, I mean, it's a little bit better than Defender. The detection rates are high on ESET, but they're also pretty good on Defender, maybe slightly higher on ESET, but maybe this is a slight upgrade. And then under email, uh, internet protection, we have anti-phishing protection, email client protection, web access protection. This is basically securing your browser. So if you go to a malicious website, it will try to identify that as a fraud. So that's good. We don't see the banking protection or the ransomware shield and all the other uh, higher end like firewall network attack detection. So pretty basic here. Overall, I do like the product, but, and it is cheaper than say Essential coming in at right around $39.99. But I think only a select user might find this as a benefit. One thing I can say about Nod32 is that it is, is, it's extremely lightweight. So if you're installing ESET on an older computer, Nod32 would be a very lightweight option. All of ESET products are pretty light, but Nod32 is especially lightweight and you can put it on older computers. And Nod32 also works on Linux. And I think it's for that reason because a lot of people install Linux on, uh, on older hardware or slower machines. Next, we have Home Security Essential, or what used to be called Internet Security. Mine still says Internet Security, but when you get yours, it'll say Essential. It's exactly the same product. I just have the older license from before they changed the branding over. And we have a bit more going on here. We have safe banking and browsing, browser privacy and security, anti-theft, which is particularly useful for laptops. You can lock down your system in the event it's stolen. You can also track it and help authorities get your property back. Network Inspector, I like this one. This one lets you see all the devices on your network. You can also scan your network for vulnerabilities. Very nice feature that you don't get on Nod32, and that's on starting on Essential. In the setup, we have more sections than we did on Nod32. Instead of just the two here, we also have network protection and more security tools. But under computer protection, we also have another section here. Instead of just real-time file system, device control, and HIPS, uh, we didn't go over gamer mode. This is on all ESET products. This just turns off all the antivirus notifications so that you can give a presentation or if you're gaming and you don't want pop-ups, uh, you can turn that on. ESET doesn't have a lot of pop-ups, but if you want to turn that on, go ahead. 
But the feature that's not in NOT32 that's on Essential, webcam protection. So there's a common problem in of webcams being very easy to compromise. And everyone at Google HQ and Facebook HQ actually has a stick of tape over their webcam because they're worried about hackers compromising their computer and turning on their webcam and looking at them. So what webcam protection does is whenever a program wants to turn on the webcam or use it, it has to ask your, your permission through ESET. You'll get a pop-up saying, this application wants to activate your webcam. Do you want that to happen? If you say no, it's gonna block it and it can't work. If you say yes, it will add a rule saying, Discord or Skype or whatever is trying to use your webcam is now authorized to use that webcam and it won't ask you that again. So that's a particularly good protection. And the next section, internet protection, we have two new features here. We have parental control, which is particularly useful if you have kids that are using your computer or if it's a, a computer owned by a minor. And then also email client anti-spam, which is just an, an improvement of the email client protection to reduce spam emails. Not a whole lot's changed there, but we have two new sections that we didn't have in Nod32, network protection and security tools. Under network protection, we have a hardened firewall. There's actually some smart features in here, so if you don't know anything about firewall, you can activate smart mode and it'll start asking you, do you wanna allow this type of traffic? But if you just leave it alone, if you don't know anything about firewalls, it's actually really good stock if you don't touch anything. And then we also have Network Attack Protection, or IDS, which IDS stands for Intrusion Detection System. This is going to scan incoming traffic, like people trying to communicate with your computer, and if it detects anything malicious, it's going to alert you and automatically block it, add firewall rules, very good feature, if, especially if you are worried about hackers on your network or more serious advanced level attacks other than just clicking on things on the internet. And also, if you have an infected device on your network, like maybe your kid, you know, installed a Trojan and it's trying to attack other devices on the network and infect those, this is going to protect you from that. Firewall plus network attack protection, those work together to stop more advanced types of attacks other than just viruses. Botnet protection, this protects your computer from being a drone in someone else's attack. Um, and then into security tools, safe banking so we have this feature here which is going to open up a secure browser to literally protect you while you're doing online banking it makes it nearly impossible for you to get fished it's going to protect your banking information your logins so they can't be stolen by an outside uh outside force or a, a piece of, of malware and then browser privacy and security this just enables the, uh, the ESET browser extension to protect you while you're browsing the internet, and then anti-theft. So what you get with Essential is essentially more features. We have anti-theft, network security, network inspector, and browser privacy, secure banking, and then this advanced hacker protection, the firewall, network attack protection, botnet. So essentially it is a big upgrade from say no antivirus, um, and it's a big improvement from Nod32, but is it worth the $59.99 price tag? Well, when you consider it covers three devices, that could be three laptops or three computers, two devices and a phone. Um, you can split that however you want. In my opinion, it's it's a good price. Do you guys think it's a good price? Or do you think we should tell ESET to come down from your ivory tower and reduce your prices, you tyrants? Well, maybe they won't listen, but hey, it's worth a shot. Tell me in the comments. Now on to Home Security Premium. We have everything that we had in Nod32 as well as Essential. And then we also get some more advanced features which we'll go over shortly. But right on the front, we have some more tiles and it's showing us the password manager and secure data and the other stuff we saw from before. What secure data does is it allows us to create a secure folder on our computer that is encrypted and password protected. This is a much better way of hiding your secret work stuff from someone else in your house. And more importantly, it can secure that data in the event that someone has physical access to your computer or steals your laptop, they're not gonna get that data. It also allows you to encrypt your USB drive. So if you have a USB flash drive with some data that you don't want accessed by someone else, you can password protect and encrypt it that way. It also has a password manager with premium. Now, if you don't already have a password manager, 
This is particularly important because if you have your accounts hacked, your Facebook got hacked, Steam accounts get hacked, someone didn't actually guess your password. You clicked on something silly on a website and it stole all those unencrypted passwords and logins that are saved to Chrome or Firefox because they're totally unprotected and unencrypted there. They instantly get stolen, you lose everything saved to your browser. So in a nutshell, premium is everything that was on essential, except it has a password manager, secure data, and then live guard. There's a couple other things it has also, but that's the main selling features is live guard and proactive protection. But just to clarify, proactive protection is actually a subcategory of live guard. It's a feature. If you disable proactive protection, live guard's still working, but it's not going to halt the execution of the programs. It'll let it run, but if it's infected, you're going to have to rely on the other protection features of ESET because it's not going to halt it until it gets like a, a confirmation from the cloud. So I always leave it on, but if you're sure that the programs are fine, you can disable that for convenience just to have everything execute one after another. I'll leave a link to this article that explains exactly how LiveGuard works in that short period of time, but there's a lot going on over on the ESET cloud side. So if you want to read more about that, you can check that link in description. So when you compare pricing between Essential and Premium, there's a $10 difference. So essentially for 10 more dollars, you're going to get LiveGuard, Proactive Protection, and then Secure Data and Password Manager. That's the main thing you get for $10 more. If that's not a value to you, definitely get Essential because that $10 is paying for Password Manager, Secure Data, and LiveGuard. I think LiveGuard is one of the most strongest features of ESET products because this is a high-end, very premium feature. So if you really are paranoid, you want the absolute best protection from getting your system compromised, it's definitely, it's $10 more, but either way, and finally, we have ESET Security Ultimate. This is the top tier, the most expensive, most fancy version of ESET, reigning in at a bargain price of $100 billion. So what you get with Security Ultimate is everything we've talked about times 10 plus more. Now, what I mean by it, by times 10, is it's 10 devices. So $205 essentially is 10 computers or five computers and five phones or five of your family and five of your friend's family. And then also 10 VPNs. Yes, ESET finally has a VPN and a relatively good one. It's relatively quick, it's full featured. You can choose the servers, you can use it as a real VPN to get around GOIP filtration, to watch stuff that's not authorized in your area. Um, so it is a real, it's not as good as like, let's say ExpressVPN or NordVPN. Um, so I'm not, you know, gonna give you that fiddle faddle, but it is better than like Kaspersky's included um, VPN, which is on the slow side. And all you can do is click connect and you, it chooses a server that it chooses. You can actually use it as a real VPN. Also included is metadata cleanup, which is a part of the browser privacy. And what this does is it removes all the personal metadata that could be in here. Like when you upload a, a, a picture to Reddit, it'll tell you what camera it was taken with, where it was taken, all that metadata. You don't want to give that out to everyone on the internet because there's people that actually try to, to check where that photo was taken. And that's just a, a violation of privacy. Speaking of privacy, it also includes a big product called uh, a data protect, uh, sorry, uh, identity theft protection. It includes a million dollars of identity theft insurance. So what this does is it's gonna do dark web monitoring, credit score monitoring, um, and, if, and it protects you there. And if you do get your identity stolen and they rack up a million dollars of debt in your name, you get a million dollar check. It's that simple. That's the way identity theft protection with insurance works. So you get those three items on in addition to uh, what's already included on premium and then 10 licenses. Now, this is only for the, the identity pr protection part is only for uh, people in the United States. If you go to, if you're buying it from like, let's say Australia, for example, um, the price is significantly lower. It's $111.99 Australian, which is like a little bit less than $80 US, but you, you only get the VPN and metadata cleanup and it's five devices instead of 10. So what I'm referring to at 10 devices and also the identity protection is for the United States only. So very important. So I hope I was able to answer some of your questions that you might be having about ESET's product line and also about ESET's new line, the ultimate tier. What do you guys think of that? Is it too outlandish? Is it too much? Is it too expensive? Which one do you think kind of suits your needs? Tell me about it in the comments. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I shall see you next time.